Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to lesson 43 in this series on developing a survival game. This video is going to be a bit different as we're going to talk more about some unreal concepts we need to work with, like how to back up our projects without using source control, and updating our project to 4.23 so that we can take advantage of some of the foliage tools that were added in in this version of the engine. In addition, we will be resizing our landscape to address the mistake I made when we imported our landscape so that we can take care of some of the LOD issues that would show up as we get into our foliage system. That said, welcome to section 4C of this series. And all of that said, remember this project, the series, all of that has been brought to you by my Patreon sponsors. And all of that said, fire up your project and let's make a start. Hi everyone, and welcome to the first video in section subsection C of section 4 of this tutorial series. Now, in my original recording of this, I had did the, I have done this video much later on. Um, I want to do it earlier this time around, and that is we're going to update our um, engine version to 4.23. The reason for the update is because I want to show you options on different foliage spawners and also so we can resize the map to get rid of the LOD issues. There are ways to resize our landscape. Actually, I'm not sure there are resize, ways to resize our landscape in 4.22. So those are the two features that are missing that I want in 4.23. Now, before we do that, I am going to very quickly build my lighting and I'll pause while we build our lighting. Again, as a reminder, before I do pause, we will get an error that we don't have an importance volume, but that's fine. We'll take care of that later on. All right, so there's that error. That's what we expected, but it gets rid of those lines. Now, why are we in here instead of in our Epic Launcher? The first thing I'm going to do, and this is just because we want to be safe about everything we do, is we are going to create a backup. So go to File, actually, first Control S, Save Everything. And if you're using source control, go ahead and commit. And I'm going to do that really quickly. So I'm going to pause the video while I do my commit. All right, so now that I've made the commit, I am going to go to File. And I'm going to go down to my um, build, once I can see it. Package project, sorry, not build. And I'm going to go to Zip Up Project. And I'm going to select where I want to zip this up to. And I have uh, put all my backups on my desktop. So I'm just gonna move that off the screen because uh, I don't know what, oh, well, eh, I guess I can show you my desktop. There, there's my backup. And there, I'm gonna just override my last tutorial file. It's 4.5 gigs. Just gonna replace it and gonna allow that to zip up. It'll take a few moments. So I'm gonna pause the video here and come back when it's done. All right, now with that backed up, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna close out the project. And we're back in our Epic Laundry. You might need to reopen it. I had it open in the background because I knew I was going to close it. I'm going to go to my library, and you can see, well, all the prep files for this, all the different versions of it. And it's this one that we're working on. Now, I'm going to do something that is naughty. Never do what I'm about to do. The only reason I'm going to do it is because, well, I've made a backup, and I've already tested this, so I know this should be fine. I'm going to go to 4.23, always go up one version at a time if you're going to advance it. And I'm going to hit launch here and it'll take a moment. So we'll sit here while it does everything it's doing. There we are. We can see all our projects and I'm going to select survival tutorial. Now the part I said never do is what I'm about to do here. I'm going to hit open and it's going to say open. Oh, I have to open a copy. Do I? Uh, no, I'm going to hit uh, convert in place. So don't, I'd always say open and copy, so it makes a new version. I am just converting in place because I, I know it should work, but really, 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 you should not be doing this. And if I'm wrong, hey, I'm gonna delete this recording. So there we are, converting in place. And we can see that it's, well, there's my speaker settings. There's my background, enjoy my background. Um, and notes that you can see as C++ files in there. So while this is rebuilding, it's now opening. We now have our map 
and it's loading in all our shaders. So I'm going to just pause while it does that. All right, I realize it's still compiling shaders in the background, but what I wanted to do is bring this over for a moment. I reopened the Epic Launcher uh, while it was doing stuff, and you can see the survival tutorial is now 4.23. And one thing you want to do is you want to go through and make sure that everything is properly set up. Now, one of the things I want to point out before we do that is I've selected the landscape. This is the information I was looking for earlier that I couldn't find. It let me know that I had a bit of an issue in how I set up my landscape. So you want to go through each, I might just close out editor preferences. We will need that later on. You want to go through everything and make sure that it's all set up correctly. So we're going to open up the character and we're just going to, well, one quick way to do this is hit play first. And there we are, everything is working. We didn't get any errors. It's loading in nicely. Oh, I forgot to say something really important at the start of this. I said I'd tell you three times in case you missed it. I put a note in the last video of the last section and I made a comment in the review video. In your animations, go to your, that's audio. In animations, uh, make sure that your footprint isn't persistent if you don't want it to be by giving it a lifespan. I gave mine 15 seconds. So I have gone through all of this before and I have double checked that everything is correct. There's nothing that's deprecated. The only major difference, and I've already mentioned this to you before, is in our widget. And if we go to our widget and we go to our inventory UI and go into here for a moment. So what we're gonna do is just close everything except for this tab. We're gonna go to get inventory slots. And you notice this in column stuff? Well, I can break all of this. Let me just undo what I did there and plug that into my in row and plug this into my in column. Let's double check this still works. Sorry, if you're gonna do that, make sure to break this, then hit play. Of course, we're gonna fall through the map a bit there, but we do get a little bit of an issue apparently where if we do that, it's still trying to access the menu. So, I will very quickly double check what's going on there by plugging those back in, plugging that back there, and just double checking that we aren't getting any sort of weird issue. Hit play again. Oh, sorry, if you're gonna do it that way, what you need to do is plug that into in row, plug that into in, undo that, plug this into in column, and then come off of this and go straight into your add unique, then hit play. And our menus are now working correctly. So that, that's one way of tackling, um, of tackling that. I am going to leave those plugged in just because I, I like it as is. Um, yes, technically it's more efficient now to do it the other way. Now the other thing we want to do while we are here is we want to fix our map and the way we're going to and the way we're going to do that is we are going to go to our landscape mode and again if you're in a newer version it's up here go to manage yeah go to manage go to change component size no nope. yeah no change component size and in here we have our original and our old now we could just raise this up as high as we wanted and see what comes out we could do it that way, but that's going to be a bit um, messy. It's going to cause a whole bunch of issues. So what we're going to do first is talk about this resize mode. We have expand, clip, and resample. Now expand will change the size of our island overall or our landscape overall. So we go to top. Really what resize is, it goes, all right, here's my landscape. I need to resize and make it bigger. Clip will make it smaller and resample will try to force it into the same shape. So we're gonna use resample and we will leave it there. We will leave quads two by two and let's just raise our components to our component counts what's off. So that is, we wanna set that to 36 by 36. That is the number of quads we want. 36 by 36 and resample. If we hit apply, 
it's going to delete the landscape and remake it. So let's hit apply real quick. You know, the landscape name will change when this happens. That's fine. And I'm going to just pause while it does its thing. It'll take a moment. All right. And there it is. It's resized. We got rid of the LOD issues, which means when we do our foliage, we're not going to get any weirdness. Of course, we have to rebuild lighting again. But hey, let's make sure this actually works. Let's hit play. Maybe we want to make sure the material still working with anything. So we're still getting our sound effects. And that takes us through everything we need to do in this video. As we move through the section, we'll be adding our grass in. We'll be adding our trees. We'll be adding our resources in and food for the character to eat. Um, really quickly before I forget, though, we are going to build the lighting just so we don't have to do that again. So we are, we're done with what we have to do after you do your build lighting. So I'm just going to do my outro while this happens instead of walking around the map. Um, this series and this video have been brought to you by Patreon sponsors like Hanas, Quad Menson, Rian, Connor, One Volt 10, and Galois. Um, and we're going to give a few more shout outs to Rian in this section for all her help and her patience with me in creating some icons for use on this map that we'll be implementing in this section and for her help when I was uh, having a bit of an issue with the water. I kind of forgot in the original recording to set my water to have the correct refraction rate. But I'll, I'll do all that later on, um, as, as and when needed. But I'm just going to say she's going to get a shout out now. Um, all right, all of that said, if you've liked this video, if you've enjoyed learning how to make a backup using the zip file, resizing your map, how to make an update to your engine without creating a new copy, which, by the way, you should never do. Um, I did a bad. I only did it because I've tested this so many times that I knew it should work despite my panic joke of, if it doesn't, I'm deleting this recording. Um, but if you want to be here when we do our foliage, change our grass color a bit there so it looks a bit nicer and less uh, saturated, then make sure to hit the subscribe and notify icon. If you want to help the channel out further, also we'll take care of the lighting, by the way. Um, if you want to help the channel further, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Patreon supporters at upper tiers get instant access to all ongoing projects and completed projects. At other tiers, Patreon supporters get access once a project is completed. All of that said, I look forward to seeing you in the subsection C of section four of this tutorial series. I was going to say the next video, which is why I said the dot there. So sorry about that. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.